You get me. What's good, everyone? It's Lariel. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me again. Today, we're going to get to something really cool about vocal tuning. We all know auto-tune is super popular, but if you have that song that you want to have a natural-sounding tuned vocal, New Tone is the way to go in FL Studio, similar to Melodyne, Waves Tune, etc. So before we hop into that, again, this video is sponsored by the homies at DistroKid. Hit that link down in the description below to get 7% off. Sign up right now for your whole year. Let's hop right into a quick little bit, something really dope. If you're an artist or if you work with artists, this is a cool feature. So if you see people online, you know, on Instagram, especially when you post a story and you hit the music button and you can post your lyrics, this is how you do it. This is how you get those lyrics synced. You can go into the songs section and then you can click plain lyrics. Make sure you pay attention to all these rules and guidelines right here. And you don't have to put the name or the title of the song. So we're going to skip this and we're going to copy and we're going to paste it in. And then you can hit save lyrics. Now that we got our lyrics synced up, you're going to get this green check mark. After that, we can go to the synced lyrics section. So you can hold your space bar down when you hear the beginning of the line. Release your space bar when the lyric is finished. Delete if you mess up, click here to reset. So let's hit play. The right side of my brain's off autopilot. I can fly where I want now. Now that we went through the entire song, we're gonna hit save timed lyrics. All right, so now done. You've synced your lyrics for history. That's it. Let's hop right into the video. You get me. I have this song pulled up from my homie IMCDM. He sent me this song to get mixed. It's uh, just a rough draft. He has a chorus. And a verse. Yeah, so I want to play a bit. All I have right now on this is like EQ, compression, and some reverb. I'm gonna play this hook. I'm just gonna play this one layer here because that's what we're gonna focus on tuning today. Got my eyes on the prize. Yeah, it's you. Yeah, I wanna see you move, but I got some feelings. Do you got the juice? Yeah, no, that's what they all say. But I would never play you like an arcade. You can hear like slightly uh, out of tune vocals not bad he's really close to the right tune so instead of auto tuning this like I would in the past I just want to get like a natural sounding vocal out of this so the first thing I always do is uh, I like to keep these clips shorter so what I'm gonna do is just chop this here chop it there I'm gonna delete delete and then I'm gonna make unique as sample and I'll show you why in a second hit save cool so now we have this sample saved and it's just this versus all that dead space. We got rid of that dead space. And when you're dropping things into new tone, the processing takes a lot like uh, a lot less time if you do it like that versus you having the full length of that audio clip with all that dead space. It'll take a lot longer to process that even though there's nothing in there. So that's why I trim these down to shorter clips. So then you can click this menu in the top left and hit pitch correct sample. It's going to process. It's going to open up new tone. Let's zoom in. Dope. Okay, so these are all the vocals hitting all different notes. Here's the real gem. This is the real gem about new tone. So we know that this beat right here is in D minor. And that's right. I already double checked it. We go to the scissor tool in the top menu right here. Then we go to scale and we select D minor. Then back to the scissor tool, snap to scale. Now when we go to move these notes around, we're not going to hit a wrong note. We can move these notes and it's only going to be in the scale of D minor, which is super dope. It's like the, the craziest thing that I came across when I was messing around with New Tone like a few years ago. Best feature they have, in my opinion. Saves you so much time. So the next thing I'm going to do is highlight by holding control and drag the mouse with control to highlight everything. And then I'm going to find a note right here when this cursor pops up and I'm going to right click. That's going to lock everything nice and tight into the key of D minor. Then we're oh. going to we're going to go through and listen and anything that sounds sort of uh, slightly out because this isn't perfect. We're going to nudge around. And again, when you nudge a note up or down, it's only going to nudge into the scale of D minor. Got my eyes. I got my eyes on a prize, on a prize, yeah, it's you, yeah, I wanna see you move. Eyes on a prize, yeah, it's you, yeah, I wanna see you move, but I got some feelings too, you got the juice. They all say, but I would never say, but I would never play you like an arcade. I know that's what they all say, but I would never play you like an arcade. I know that's what they all say, but I would never play you like an arcade. So now that we have this nice and tuned, because when we did those two things where we highlighted everything and right clicked, it locked everything into the nearest note and then changed that variation a little bit. So any inflections in the key, 
kind of gotten flattened out just slightly, not too much with the variation. But now that we have that nice and tuned and ready to go, you can hover over this little arrow right here, click, and you can drag it back on top of that original vocal, and it, it will replace it with the tuned vocal. Eyes on a prize, and yeah, it's you. Yeah, I wanna see you move, but I got some feelings for you, got the juice. Yeah, I know that's what they all say, but I would never play you like an arcade. So that's pretty much it. You can go through and do that to every single vocal track in there. If you have anything that repeats, you can, of course, copy and paste it. You don't have to do it multiple times to things that just repeat themselves like choruses, the doubles. I'm going to go ahead and do this on all the doubles and any ad libs that I feel like need it. Uh, you can also create your own harmonies. I, I'll put a video link right here, how to create your own harmonies from scratch using new tone as well. So you can click that and go watch that video right after this. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. And as always, share this with a friend if you get me.